How's it going there, YouTube? Well, I got a quick little video for you guys today. I wanted to show you how I prepare my tractors to paint them. Um, I haven't really changed how I do things since I did my W4 a few years ago, but there's a lot of subscribers that weren't here when we did that, so I wanted to do a little updated video. I did learn a couple more tricks. Uh, basically, what it boils down to, you want to get them clean. That's the hardest part, you get them clean down to the bare steel. Uh, there is a lot of guys that are the We'll sand them and paint them, which is nothing wrong with that. You can get a good result, but I always like to take a wire wheel and take them right down to bare steel. Right to the cast. Cast, steel, whatever. So, basically, we I don't have an example, but I do have on my shorts clips there. Uh, uh, I tried a new trick there that a friend of mine taught me. Um, take easy off oven cleaner and the non-aerosol container, and that will take about 95% of the paint and the grease and all that right off. Uh, I actually have a video on it that shows the paint actually physically melting off the tractor. So that worked actually very well. I did do a little bit of touch up with a wire wheel, of course, because that's not going to do very much for the rust. But uh, yeah, I now use Easy Off Oven Cleaner on the if I want to just take paint off, use that. And then after I've got that done, I'll take a power washer and I'll power wash it all down. And then uh, blow it off with the air dryer, of course. So we've got oven cleaner and a power washer and an air compressor so far. So that actually works very well. Now for doing uh, other areas, I mean, that method works good for doing tight areas, big areas. I still use a wire wheel on a four inch grinder. Uh, I got an example over here on the table. So I still use four inch grinder with various wire wheels. I've been using the cup style lately. Uh, I'm going to go pick up, next time at the hardware store, I'm going to pick up a flat style. Because that works really well for doing the tubs and whatnot, the big pieces. Nice, ah, various little brass. The brass works good on steel, but like a steel bristle wheel like this works good on cast because you're not going to dig into it. But the, I use the brass wheels on steel. Uh, of course, there's various little uh, cut brushes, and little Christmas tree brushes and stuff like that. And still, you can use a little wire brush, handheld wire brush. Give you guys some ideas here uh of course after i get them clean i try to prime my parts right away so you don't get any flash rust it's kind of the, an issue i had with the 80 here i had it in bare cast at least the engine and the, the this half of the tub uh i had it in bare cast for two weeks and i come out here one day and i started noticing a little bit of flash rust so i re-cleaned the areas and i painted it because i let it sit for too long i just haven't really had the time to come out here and do too much with this stuff lately so i got one coat of primer on just this section here i was actually not wanting to show this too much until i had the entire uh frame engine and everything in primer at the very least because i'm trying to not make so many videos on primer and painting on this stuff like i did with the w4 i think i did that a little bit overkill but anyway uh that's pretty much all i do i now i do have a fella with a sandblast machine that is local to me Kind of thinking when i get the 99 running and how i want it and all the mechanical stuff done and the steel is ready to go when i get to this stage with the 99 i might take it over and sandblast it and then we can kind of get things rolling here a little bit faster so anyway if you guys like that little video please comment rate, subscribe thanks for watching